Okay guys, so in this video we're going to talk about Amazon stock right now. So the reason I wanted to make this video on Amazon stock is that I, I was personally talking to a family member of mine that works for Amazon. Uh, they've been working for Amazon for uh, almost a year now and they say that Amazon is making a lot of money right now with their uh, online business, with their e-commerce business, with their grocery delivery business. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up on Amazon stock because I think they're going to have an absolutely amazing quarter on uh, April 23rd when they report Q1 2020 results. So I like this stock right now is under $2,000. This could be the last time it's under $2,000 for a long, long time. Assuming we don't have any further market crashes or stuff like that after we see kind of all of the earnings season come up in April. So guys, just give you guys a quick background on Amazon stock. As we know, Amazon is the e-commerce giant of the world, and they've uh, personally put the malls, basically a lot of malls and a lot of retailers out of business all over the world. So the thing about Amazon stock is, let's take a quick look at it, guys. So if you take a look at this one-year chart, we basically see that Amazon stock was trading way at like uh, $2,150, and then it had some resistance at around the $2,200 price level. Then it came all the way back down here due to the global sell-off of stocks where people got scared of the coronavirus and stuff like that. So it seems like kind of... Uh, a bit of a kind of a support where the buyers have come in at around $1,949 for Amazon stock. You guys, kind of the enterprise value of, of Amazon stock, because when I look at companies, guys, I like to look at the enterprise value because I feel like that gives us a kind of a... Uh, a kind of general valuation of the company if they were to sell off all of their assets and basically uh, move on if Jeff Bezos were to... Uh, do something like that, approve a decision like that. So as we see, the market cap is 970 billion and the enterprise value is around 955 billion. So pretty fair value according to uh, enterprise value right now, guys, up there. So like I said, guys, I like to do technical analysis and fundamental analysis when I buy stocks. Technical analysis really helps you kind of see where the price action is, where fundamental lets you know it's just a good long-term investment. So as we can see here, Amazon is making a ton of money, guys. Hope you guys can see this. But basically, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the numbers. And the key numbers that I'm looking for, I'm looking for free cash flow. That's money that is freed up. Uh, to expand the business and make it grow. So, wow, man. I mean, $25 billion in free cash flow is awesome. And let's take a look at their, their sales. So they increased net sales 21%, $87 billion. That was due to the holiday season, so a great quarter there. And full year, Amazon is making around $280 billion a year, guys. That is just phenomenal. And the most amazing thing is that Amazon is definitely going to have a record year again because the coronavirus crisis has actually helped the company. It's forced them to hire more employees. Uh, they, their their gross online grocery delivery business through uh, Whole Foods and Amazon Fresh has picked up a lot. So guys, this is just all good signs for the company. And then I want to quickly read you guys what uh, Jeff Bezos said. And then there's many things that Amazon is doing. So I can't, I don't have enough time to cover each and every highlight, but I'll just run through the best ones. So he said Prime membership continues to get better for customers year after year and customers are responding. More people joined Prime this year than ever before. And we now have over 150 million paid Prime members around the world, guys. That's pretty crazy. And we've made Prime delivery faster. The number of items delivered to U.S. customers with Prime's free one day and same day delivery morning quadrupled this quarter compared to last year. Members now have free two-hour grocery delivery from Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods Market more than 2,000 U.S. cities and towns. Prime members watched double the hours of original movies and TV shows on Prime Video this quarter compared to last year. Amazon Originals received a record 88 nominations and 26 wins at major award shows. A huge thank you to teams across Amazon for their dedicated work to build, innovate, and deliver for customers this holiday, guys. So if you guys didn't see, 150 million Prime paid members is a ridiculous. And this kind of puts Amazon in terms of Netflix. I believe Netflix has around 160 some million subscribers. So both of these companies, obviously, I Amazon is a much bigger market cap, but both of these companies are, are doing very well when it comes to getting those paid subscribers, guys. So the reason why I really like Amazon is that they're very smart. They're not like most e-commerce stores where they're looking basically to hit and run marketing where they grab a sale and then they go. Amazon is trying to get members to build that long-term loyalty, and Jeff Bezos is an excellent uh, CEO at building long-term value, guys. And also another thing, it's a very bullish signal when the, the founder of the company is still running it, and that's the truth with Amazon. So I just wanna quickly run through some of the highlights. Uh, Amazon Fresh is doing great. Uh, they're doing a lot of things in terms of uh, 
Alexia, man, Amazon has a lot of things, guys. Fire TV, that's a competitor to Roku, 40 million users worldwide. Ring, that's a feature where you guys can put this on your door to kind of uh, record the activity in front of your house. That's doing great. Amazon Original Series, so they're coming out with their own movies and stuff like that. Uh, Amazon pledged to invest a billion dollars to help digitize traders and micro, medium, small size businesses across India, so they're investing in India. Uh, man, the guys, there's a lot of stuff here. You guys, you guys, you check out this. All you have to do is go to I, uh, Amazon uh, Investor Relations. You guys can check out all of the, er, the quarterly releases and stuff like that. So I don't want to keep this video going on too much, guys, because there's a lot of stuff to read here. But basically, the two most important parts I like to read of a quarterly report, I like to read, obviously, the highlights at the top. So I love to read the highlights of the quarterly numbers at the top, and I like to see what the CEO is saying. A lot of this stuff, guys, a lot of this is just to kind of, you know, uh, make the company appear good, but what we're really interested in is what's on that basically that first page, especially what the CEO is saying directly about the company, guys. So that's it for now about the fundamental analysis of Amazon. I think the numbers are great uh, out there. So if we go back to the price chart, where do I think Amazon stock could trade in the future? Well, simply it's at a 23 price to earnings. Uh, uh, e, I'm sorry, the earnings per share is. 23 that's at a price to earnings ratio of 85 which is kind of high but the reason why it's high is because this is a growth stock still it's hard to say it if that 90 billion dollar market cap but if they're growing their sales annually 20 percent that's hitting that 20 percent annual sales growth rate that you want to see from a strong stock and guys uh, what would you guys do with the amazon stock well i'll give you guys a couple options uh if you guys are from you uh guys out there that you're over 40 and over 50 you guys are approaching retirement amazon's a good stock for basically uh your retirement portfolio and the reason why i say that is is because uh, if you're looking to grow your money at like 15 to 20 percent 30 percent something like that but you don't want to put it in a high risk stock amazon is going to be around for the long run we all know uh how much footprint they have in in terms of retail in general and guys here's an interesting uh statistic only 11 percent of all the sales in u.s are done online and with the whole uh global uh u.s lockdown a lot of people have had no choice but to order things on amazon order things through their grocery delivery business so i think it's a very very mature company but it also is well positioned because i expect a lot of that we expect us to move to about a 50 50 e-commerce and uh brick and mortar retail split in the future of course the second reason I like this stock is that it's it's pretty safe uh, everyone's familiar with Amazon uh, they make a lot of money you're not gonna have to worry about the stock crashing or something like that whereas a stock like Tesla carries a lot more risk if their deliveries fall you could be losing a lot of your investment Amazon is a much safer stock and the third it's the reason I like Amazon stock is simply because you're just owning a part of a very valuable company uh, we've kind of watched these shares rise over time and you know, if I take a look at the five-year chart, guys, I want to pull this up real quick to give you guys a little bit of perspective. As you can see here, just five years ago, Amazon stock in 2015 was less than $500 a share. So, guys, just think about how your your stock could have gone from $500 to around $2,000 in just five years, and time does fly pretty fast. So, you could be potentially looking at a stock if you're buying uh, Amazon at around uh, $2,000 and they grow their sales 20% year over year for the next three to five years, you're potentially looking at a stock that could be worth uh, heading towards uh, five to six thousand dollars assuming that the sales growth remains strong assuming that the company continues to deliver to the customer so it's kind of hard to, to to you know ignore a stock that is trading for that much but maybe amazon decides to do a stock split i'm not really sure but even if the stock is five thousand dollars let's say they do a stock split well then you're going to have more shares anyway and guys a stock split doesn't affect your ownership in the company even though the, the number of shares has increased you still own the same amount of share of the company guys so i hope this answers some of your questions on amazon stock and for some of you guys out there maybe you're thinking hey man two thousand dollars is too much i don't have two thousand dollars to invest in the stock market i'm a complete beginner now, let me give you guys a couple options on what to do here so you have two couple options you can use you guys check out the links in the description you guys can uh, actually purchase fractional shares on Robinhood. so if you want to sign up for Robinhood, please be sure to do so you can check out my link in the description you guys get a free share of stock if you sign up under my link or you guys can use stash invest stash invest also allows you to purchase fractional shares and i actually just posted a review on stash invest in one of my previous videos guys so be sure to check out those links in my description box there's always a way you can invest even if you just have five dollars you can invest in partial shares in amazon and grow your 
stake in, in, in one share over time. So for example, let's say you guys just start with $5 a week in Amazon stock. That's $20 a month. That's $240 a year. It'll take you a long time to get a share of Amazon stock. Take you about, assuming the stock price stays the same, which is probably going to go up in the future, but it would take you a few years. So let's say you wanted to be more aggressive. Let's say you wanted to put $100 a month into a partial shares of Amazon stock, but assuming the stock hovers around the same price, it'll take you a little less than two years to acquire one. So that's just a couple options, guys. There's always options now with the whole new app revolution and on all the millennials that are investing in the stock market for the first time, and even some baby boomers coming back and being interested in stocks. It seems like a lot of people have been interested in the stock market due to the recent gains, and that's for good reason because stocks like Amazon have made a lot of money for their investors. So that's it, guys. I hope I answered some of your questions. Be sure to check those links in the description to get your free stocks. Thank you so much, and please hit this like button button and smash the subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. So that's it for now guys. Until next time, take care.